hey hi hello guys i hope everyone is okay hope everyone is doing well today on tips and talks with ash we are going to be discussing the topic of saying no and if you hear a fan in the background guys ignore it i'm going to talk plenty loud so you can hear me but it's a little wrong where i record so i needed a fan and i had a amazing uh word that i needed to get out to you guys so if you need help saying no, keep watching this video. Okay, let's jump right into it. This video is for anyone who wants to help people. This video is for anyone who finds themselves completely empty while everyone around you, around, 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 all the other people are okay. This video is for the person who finds themselves giving their last dime because you feel so bad for your friend or your cousin, your mom, your uncle, whoever and you realize you have nothing left for yourself. This video is for every mama who puts that $5 shirt back on the clearance rack so you can make sure you can give your baby $30 worth of V-Bucks so they can shut up. This is for every wife who goes without the manicure or the pedicure or going out with your girlfriends because you want to save some money so your husband can go do something they want to do. This video is for you. Everyone raise your hand if you find yourself giving your last to help someone around you and they don't really need it but you did raise your hand if you find yourself giving everything you have and when it's time for you to need something no one is there raise your hand if you find yourself giving to people and finding out that they lied to you and now you're mad. Oh, we got something in common. So the power of saying no is going to give you the ability to keep your coinage in your pocket, to keep your feelings from being hurt, and to refill yourself. There is no way you can take care of everyone in the world. You're not superwoman, you're not superman. There is no way that you can give your last dime, your last energy, your last cry to someone because you won't have anything left on yourself. There is no way that you can give someone 100% of your energy, especially when they're not pouring back into you and having enough energy to do what you need to do on a day to day. So I want you to practice this with me. No. 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 I can't. No. I'm so sorry to hear that happen to you. No. Oh, I'm so sorry you're going through that. I'll be praying for you. But no. I'm sorry I can't. I thought about it. No. It's above me now. No. Learning how to tell people no and learning to know the difference and have judgment when someone really needs you is so important. So let's take a few steps. I used to work for a call center. And this call center, I will not name the name, but it was a cell phone company. And the way we would judge whether or not we would give someone a credit when they called in was off of a few criteria on their account. How long they had been with us, how many previous credits we had given them, how much they've paid us, how much their phone bill is and how much they paid every month, how many times they've gotten their phone cut off? How many upgrades? How many lines? All of those things were deciding factors on whether or not we would give them a credit. So let's say, for example, if it's someone who has only been with us for six months, they've only paid in $300 and they've already gotten $50 worth of credits, that person was not getting a credit. If it was someone that had been with us 10 years, they only got $50 worth of credits and they've paid us $5,000 worth of monies, they were getting a credit. It is great to use that same system as a judgment based on when someone asked you for something. 
So if you've got that girlfriend or that homeboy that is constantly blowing up your phone, needing part of their rent, gas, money, and I just need to hold something to next Friday, and you notice that they have gotten out so much more than they've paid in, say it with me. What do you think you should say? No. If you have that girlfriend that no matter what you do, she is always looking for you to do something for her. She don't work. She act like she can't work. Every time you turn around, she got something new, but she always need help with her light bill or her water bill. That's a girlfriend that you need to tell. No. And I want you to feel comfortable saying that. Because if you continue to give, you have nothing for yourself. And also, in a lot of those situations, you are enabling that person to continue the same behavior. So where you think that you are helping them, you're not helping you helping that person. You're hindering that person. That person is dependent on you for their lifestyle and they're not dependent on themselves. So heaven forbid if something happens to you and you pass away, what they gonna do? They gonna die with you because they don't know how to be responsible for themselves. That's step number one. Use your judgment to decide whether or not that person really deserves your help. If they have already gotten more help than they have given you, I say no. Step number two is to decide whether or not helping that person is going to hinder you. Because guess who needs to come first? You. If you cannot take care of yourself, you can't take care of anybody else. So deciding whether or not giving your homegirl $100 to pay her light bill is going to keep you $100 short from paying your rent, homegirl may have to call and get a payment arrangement. Homegirl may have to take some to the pawn shop. Homegirl may have to skip the club that weekend. I'm not quite sure, but homegirl has got to be responsible like you are responsible. And be comfortable telling her no so that she can learn from that experience. Now, you can always offer resources. You can always send her links to part-time jobs. You can always send her links to Uber. You can always send her babysitting gigs. You can always do that. That'll definitely help her not need $100 from you. And if they get mad, well, you can't just give it to me. It's above me now. I think that's going to be my term for 2019. It is above me now. But I, girl, I'm praying for you. And I'm definitely hoping that everything works out. How can you be mad at a smile? Who can be mad at a smile? Nobody. So step number two, deciding whether or not helping that person is going to hinder you from doing something. So step number three, once you have decided whether or not that person deserves it, whether or not helping that person is going to hinder you, number three, you have to decide long term, is helping this person going to really help them or continue to hinder them? And if you refer back to step number one and two, if they are constantly asking for the same type of help, it sounds like there's a permanent issue and not a temporary issue. Now, a good example, if your homeboy is always on top of his stuff and unfortunately had a blowout on his tire and it was unexpected and he don't never ask for nothing, that's not who I'm talking about. But if homie ain't never got his full car note, if homie ain't never got no gas money and he's constantly asking you and you see that it has become a routine, it's habitual, it's the same thing all the time, it sounds like you are enabling the homie. And it sounds like the homie needs to get a life lesson and understand that he has to stand on his own two feet because you believe in him. And let me show you how you do that in the nicest way. Here's the scenario. I'm going to play two people. I'm homie and I'm homie number two. Hey, homie, you know, I get paid on Friday. Today is Tuesday. I ain't got no gas money, but if you can look out for your bro till Friday with maybe $50 worth of gas, I really appreciate it. Dang, bro, that's crazy. I know you've been trying to get back and forth to work. And I mean, I noticed you've been on your job six months, so I mean, you're doing good. What I can do is give you $10 to make sure you make it back and forth to work till Wednesday. And I know you can come up with a way to come up with the other $40. And maybe on Friday, this will give you an opportunity to set back $50. So next week, you ahead of the game. I know you can do this. That's it. Who can be mad? How can you be mad at me? I gave you all kind of encouraging words. I didn't talk down to you. I didn't talk crazy to you. I encouraged you. And I gave you a game plan. I gave you the solution to why you 
having to call me for $50 can't happen anymore. Say no. In a nice way. And it's okay if this person is your family. It's okay if this person is your cousin. It's okay if it's your husband. If it's your kids. Everybody needs to learn how to stand on their own two feet. Now, if this person is under the age, if this person is disabled, if this person is in one of them type of situations, again, this ain't for them. This is strictly for the able-bodied, well-capable people who tend to leech off of other people. And being that you and I, because if you're watching this, you're the same type of person I am, you and I are so kind-hearted and such nice people, we hate to see people do it out. But why are we always the people who have to give? And why are we always the last to do without? Put yourself first. Tell people no. Use your best judgment. Decide whether or not helping them is going to hinder you. And decide whether or not helping them is enabling or just a temporary relief. Y'all use these steps and I promise you, you will have so much more for yourself. And those same steps go for not just financial, when they call wanting to put you in their baby mama, baby daddy drama. When they call wanting to put you in their work drama. Wanting to put you in, girl, let me tell you what mama did today. It's okay to tell people, no, you don't want to hear the negativity. It's okay to tell homegirl, you know, you and Michael going to be right back together next week. I would advise you call Michael and talk to Michael about this. Because I'm sure y'all can work this out. Obviously, you love him and you really want to be with him. That's why it's been five years of the same complaints. And I don't want you to have to complain anymore. So, girl, call Michael and let me get off his phone so I can uh, open his refrigerator. All right, girl. Love you. Bye. I wish y'all the best. It took me 31 years, 30 and a half years to decide I was going to put me first. And I am now married with children in a business. But I tell you what finally made me say Ashley's first. When I looked up and I was opening my business and I had just bought my home and I had my children and my husband and everyone seemed to think that Ashley had excess. Everyone seemed to think that I had extra to go around. And when I was taking care of everybody, helping everybody, and I didn't have enough to pay my bills at my salon and I had to go back to work in six, seven days a week. And when I didn't have the time to take my children to football and basketball and daycare on time. And I'm always rushing and I was always missing something because I was giving my time and my energy to everybody who didn't deserve it. And when I looked up and my husband was complaining, and y'all know men are not that vulnerable. So when my husband is like, man, I got to stay by myself again, ladies, you better listen. You can't keep giving to people. Your own household has to come first. And it's okay. And even when the people in your household are who are taking from you you can tell them no too so practice with me come on let's do it together it's a group activity ready no okay wait wait take a deep breath take a deep breath and do it again you ready no i can't no this week i won't be able to no i'm sorry i can't do that for you right now no I'm sure you'll get it figured out, but right now I can't help with that. No. 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 I said no. <laughs> don't say it like that. <laughs> Guys, take heed to these words. I don't want you to look up and you are completely depleted and losing your mind and shaving your head like Britney Spears. I think that's what happened. I think she got so tired of Kevin and her mama and her daddy and all of the paparazzi and all the people at the record label. I guarantee you one day she was like, you know what? I, I don't have, oh, let's just cut it off. I guarantee you that's what happened. She got tired of telling people no or not telling people no. Anybody you've seen go crazy in the, the news and in the media, if they had been taking care of themselves and telling people no, I don't think they'd ever be them. What did you learn today, class? Tell these people, let him know. Tell them it's above you. All 2019, it's above me now. Best of luck. Hope y'all have an amazing day. Practice your nose in the morning time before you leave out. And I hope you have a great day. Hey, guys. Bye, guys.